Hi and welcome back to Shared Context Manager. Today we are breaking down everything you need to know about sharing your Google Drive and even creating shared drives. And trust me, you'll want to watch this till the end because we are sharing an extra productivity booster you don't want to miss. So today we'll learn how to share your entire drive with one or a few specific individuals, how to share a Google Drive with anyone, we'll take a quick look at shared drives and how to create one, we will also learn how to revoke access to shared files, and like I said, there will be a bonus secret advice you should definitely know. So let's begin. There is no way to share your Google Drive in one click. You won't find such a button, and we believe it's a good idea since it protects users from unintended mistakes. But if sharing everything on your drive is indeed your idea, this is what you need to do. Open your Google Drive, click My Drive in the left-hand menu, here you'll see all your folders and files. Select all the files and folders in your drive. Next open Sharing menu, click this icon to open the sharing options. Here, tap the recipient's email address and choose their access role, commenter, editor or just a viewer. You can also set up an expiration date for this access. Once everything looks good, click Notify people, this is optional, and add a message if you'd like, and then hit Send. Now the people you've just selected have access to the files and folders on your Google Drive. Go for it if you don't want to restrict access to the specific email addresses. Anyone with the link means that the content is going to be accessible to anyone who has the link to it. Open Google Drive and select all files. Go to the sharing menu. In the general access section choose the option anyone with the link. Select the access level for the link like we did with the previous method, click copy link and then hit done. Remember though that you won't get a single link for your entire drive, instead each file will generate its own unique link. This can make managing and sharing links a bit tricky, so keep track of them carefully to avoid any unintended access in the future. Sharing Google Drive publicly can quickly spiral into a security risk if you are not careful. Here are a few things you should do. First, keep a list of files you've shared publicly along with their corresponding links. Sometimes go through your shared files and folders in Google Drive. If sharing publicly, default to viewer mode to prevent any edits. If a project or event is completed, change the access from anyone with the link back to restricted and use expiration dates for temporary access for viewer and commenter roles. Some teams lose access to important files because a person leaves the company. That must be a nightmare, and it is for companies that don't use shared drives. A shared drive is owned by your organization and everything stored there remains there, even if a team member leaves the group. This makes it an excellent choice for long-term project, company-wide resources or any situation where files need to remain accessible to various people over time. And this is how you create a shared drive. Open Google Drive, go to Shared Drives, click here to create a new one, name it in the pop-up window. Click on Manage Members to invite your collaborators and contributors. Assign permissions. For shared drives they differ and include Contributor, Content Manager and Manager in addition to already familiar roles of Viewer and Commenter. Click Done and the shared drive is ready to be filled with folders, documents and other files. Mistakes happen. Share a file with the wrong person and realize later that it had sensitive information? Don't worry. Revoking access in Google Drive is quick and painless. Let me show you how to take back control of your files. Open Google Drive and find the item you want to unshare. Right-click on the file or folder, then select Share from the drop-down menu. Here you will see a list of everyone with the access. To revoke their access, click the drop-down next to their name and select Remove Access. 
If you have shared the file via a link, click anyone with the link and set the option back to restricted to change permissions. This will prevent anyone with the link from accessing the file. Uh, click save to confirm and now your access is updated and you are back in full control of your files or folders. And before we wrap things up, there is a little bonus for all you productivity fans out there. If you thought sharing a Google Drive was cool, wait until you hear about sharing a Google Contacts. Oh yes, you can actually share contacts, like entire labels of them with your team, just as easily as sharing a folder. That's exactly what Shared Contacts Manager does. It's a simple Google Workspace app that lets you share contacts with your team, clients or anyone you need, with no more duplications and headaches. Now that's what I call smart teamwork. If you're ready to level up your contact management game, try Shared Contacts Manager today. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.